There you saw the offensive staff talking to both quarterbacks, Cooper Rush and Will Greer. Jacksonville will take over at their own 12-yard line. Tank Bixby with some space. Right side, up the sideline, stays on his feet, and he's finally pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. A gain of 34 for the rookie from Auburn. This is all about losing leverage. You see everybody dives inside. As soon as he sees that, he hops right back to the outside. You'd like to see right there, Eric Scott Jr., he needs to stay outside. Even though he's a corner, he needs to be able to look from the outside in, forcing everything into his help. He lost containment. That's why he ended up in a big play. Biggest run play of the first half for either squad as they go right back to Bigsby. Bigsby again breaking some tackles and he's finally taken down by Marquise Bell. You mentioned Eric Scott. I mean, Scott as a rookie six-round pick out of Southern Miss. There's a lot on the table for him and he's also our Bank of America defensive featured player of the game. And if he's going to continue to build in this Dan Quinn defense, early preseason snaps are going to go a long way. Absolutely. And then there's no concern whether or not he can coverage. I think he's done a great job of that, um, not only in college, but in his time in training camp. And the question mark surrounds him around his running defense, right? Is his willingness to be able to get up there and lay his hat in there. We saw there he just lost a little bit of uh, discipline. Play action to Bigsby. Bether. Let's this one fly deep downfield, and it is caught inside the three-yard line, back on his feet and into the end zone. Goes Jacob Harris for the touchdown. Of course, it will be reviewed, but Harris, the third-year receiver out of UCF with a heads-up play, a phenomenal grab in coverage from Wanye Thomas. The ruling on the field is that that's a grab. Wow. Jacob Harris pulls it down, but it looks like he's going to stay down at about the three-yard line. Yeah, it's contested, obviously, but you like to see these guys not play the college rules and let him be down. You like to see them confirm that he stays right there after that, after he takes the ball down to the ground. It's going to be close. I think they're going to take a peek. It does look like Wanye Thomas got a hand on him. Of course, Wanye had the early interception, but this time Jacksonville gets the best of the Cowboys secondary. It's most certainly a catch. That's not the question here. After further review, the runner was touched down by contact at the four-yard line. As much as big-time impact already. <laughs> cool breeze over there on the sideline, DeMarcus Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look too worried, does he? Not at all. Third in goal for this Dallas defense. Trying to force Jacksonville to a field goal. It's a read option. Beathard kept it, and he's all alone. The entire defense went left. Beathard goes right, and Jacksonville scores. Uh, and I hate to do it, but I want everybody to take their eyes over to the left side over here at Malik Jefferson. He has to keep contained. This is his responsibility to ensure that nothing gets outside of him. His eyes go inside. The quarterback pulls. That is a good old RPO run pass option. He decides to keep it. As soon as he sees his eyes, boom, he's coming to the outside with the lead blocker in front of him. Too easy. But that's why the preseason's here. You get these reps. Train your eyes. They just got a little bit too nosy that time, Bill.